Hi, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here. Uh, I rushed home from work just so I get out and fly. We finally got a little bit of daylight left, so let's get this thing in the air and see how it does. All right, guys, the wind's a little bit too strong to take off uh, crosswind, so we're going to turn into the wind. It is coming from the road back there. Let's get this thing in the air and see how it does. Gear going up. It's looking good today, guys. I feel like the, it's handling the wind really good. I am flying with the 4S 3200 milliamp hour battery. It's a spectrum battery and it's got a lot of power. I believe I could probably get in an eight to 10 minute flight if I really wanted to. But like always, I have my timer set to five minutes. And the sun is starting to go down, so we don't want to drag it out too long. We do want to stay away from that lamppost. Uh, we know what it can do to airplanes. Goodness. Getting a little too far away, so let's try to keep it in a little bit closer. Climbing up when I switch or turning with the wind. Trying to do a little bit of a figure eight, getting some right and left turns in. We'll try a loop into the wind. Easy. Looked really easy. I'll bring it around inverted. Gear went up. Gear back down. Take it up into the stall. About half throttle pass, guys. This airplane flying on 4S doesn't have to go super f high speed on the throttle. It's plenty fast in the half to three quarter range for most of the flight. Of course, it can do much faster. We'll do a high speed pass here, a full speed pass. Letting it go out a little bit on the turn. When you got the airplane going full speed, it's at, it's usually at its max capability for the wing load. So you don't wanna try and force a really hard snappy turn. Even these foam airplanes, the wings start to crack sometimes. And uh, you don't wanna completely strain it out. Looking really nice. Push it up over the top. Roll out. Nice job. It did good on the inverted loop. Bringing it on around inverted. Rolling out. And start drifting away. The wind's pushing it out there, so turning back towards me. Awesome turn there. Love being able to curl it around me like that. Going this way, gotta make sure to break it off plenty early and not get too close to that uh, lamppost. Getting super low over here where I know I don't have to worry about those orange rods. Not sure exactly when they usually decide to pull those and put them away for the, the season. But uh, they're still out, so let's see that gear. There they are, they're all there. So let's bring it around for the landing. 
We won't use the flaps because the wind's strong enough that I shouldn't need it. And I could probably fly longer and I haven't heard the five minute timer go off, but uh, the wind and the darkness, I think it's time to go ahead and bring it in. Oh. Turned it around really quick because I didn't want to hit those parking blocks. And, uh, but a super good landing. Pretty happy with that. It can definitely turn nice and sharp with that front wheel, uh, the front landing gear really turn, make some tight turns if you want it to. That's the E-Flight T28 in a 1.2 meter. It is really fun to fly and I can't wait to do the new version of the Carbon Z. Another beautiful flight today guys. Man, I'm just so blessed to be out here and big thanks to the Lord for letting me be able to get out here and fly after work. It is starting to get dark, but at least I was able to fly. And uh, T28, man, what a blast. Like always, I'll have it linked down in the description box. And I appreciate everybody that watches the videos and all the big support. You guys are awesome, and I appreciate it so very much. Until next time, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here.